savory pickles. Cream Quiggle. Oh. <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't the ice cream Quiggle. It was the ambulance Quiggle. It's an easy mistake. Attention, Quiggles. Order. Order. Good, Good morning, morning, class. This is what the earthlings call a loud squeaker. It's a gadget for making the voice louder. To further our studies of planet Earth and its inhabitants, today we will learn about their tools, gadgets, and thingamies. What is it, Matron? Would you stop using that loud squeaker, Dr. Zargo? It's giving me a migraine. Then what you need, Matron, is one of these. It looks like a bowl to make puddings in, Dr. Zargo. Puddings, puddings, and cakes, puddings. Actually, Earthlings put these on their heads to prevent smashing headaches. Oh, I wonder if it works. <laughs> Ouch! What was that for, Dr. Zargo? That? That's an Earth thingamy for doing nuts. Dr. Zargo? Dr. Zargo? Please want to get down. Unpeg your sister, Quiggle. That gadget is for drying wet things. She was wet, sir. She's only a baby. I'm afraid she's not fully house-trained, Dr. Zargo. Leading authority on earthling culture, I end up playing nursemaid to a queen or barely out of its egg. Greedy famished. I knew he'd eat the lot. Spaceship keys and all. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is? Anybody? Sir? Sir? I know what it is, sir. Yes? It's an elephant, sir. No, it isn't. It is. It's got a trunk and a tail. Oh, yes. Oh, look, sir. There's its trunk. There's its tail. You don't think they've got a point, do you, Matron, about it being an elephant? I'm not sure, Dr. Zargo. But it did eat a peanut earlier. Easy, boy. Easy. Nice elephant. Sir? Sir? But now, Quiggle, this thing might get vicious. It isn't really an elephant. There's a plug on the end, sir. It's an electrical gadget of some sort. I know that. I was, um, testing you. What it really is, of course, is a... Is a, is a... a peanut sucker-upper, Dr. Zargo. A peanut sucker-upper is correct. The Earthlings use it to, um, allow me to demonstrate. Anybody got something the size of a peanut, excluding your brain, Quiggle? Well, have a look around. I'll see if I can get this thing going. All I have to do is press this switch and... <laughs> Matron? What happened? Has the fuse blown? No, Dr. Zargle, but I think the Zamster has. While I fix this um, thing of me, I, I want the rest of you to, to gather examples of Quiggle gadgets from around the school. You'll find them superior to the Earthling designs and infinitely more useful. Oh, sorry I'm late, Dr. Zargo. Oh. You'd better have a good excuse, Quiggle. Well, uh, I fell asleep on the bus and uh, overshot my stop, sir. That's the third time this week, Quiggle. It's bad enough you dozing off in class, let alone falling asleep before you even... You're doing it again. <laughs> That's it. Go to the head. Uh, uh, pardon, sir? Go back to bed? Oh, all right, then. No, to the head. Uh-oh. Rather him than me. Have mercy, sir. I have to walk all the way to the head. Oh. Can you give me a lift, sir? Oh, only, uh, 
I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Spanner, matron. To fix the thing, I made Doctor Zargo. No, to fix the Quiggle matron. Get, get, get. <laughs> I reckon this thing's ready for the scrappy. It will be when we've finished with it. Sluggish, somnambulant, a little sleuth. You have a wicked habit of falling asleep in class. You need to be snooze bagged, Quiggle. It's the only cure. What this funny pole for? Only the most important gadget in the school. It holds the roof up. We are bound to get a gold star for this. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> if I were to drop off to sleep, Quiggle, my head would fall forward, pulling the zipper like so. Unless you keep me awake, why? That zipper's going to come undone, and you will plunge straight onto the bed of <laughs> snails below. Oh, I do feel sleepy. No, no sir, wake up. Uh, I'll tell you a gripping story. Uh, I'm bound to keep up. Uh, no, uh, how about uh, Sleeping Beauty? No, no, that won't do. Mm -hmm. um, um, how about a rousing song? Uh, rock of my baby. No, no, uh, what else do I know? Um, the golden slumbers, la la la. No, no, help! I still can't get this thing to work, Matron. Oh, back so soon, Quiggles. Well then, uh, sit down, everybody. What the... I told you to find gadgets. Uh, and a very handy gadget this cheese grater is, sir. No, Quiggle. You are rubbing cheese through the master satellite for the school security system. <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't go to sleep, sir. You, you'll miss the end of the story. Uh, and the baby Quiggle said, who's been sleeping in my bed? And the... the uh, 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 uh. Quiggle? That looks horribly familiar. What is it? That's my throttle. You like throttles, do you? Well, here's one. Ah! Explain this, Quiggle. It's a Doric column, but also handy for crushing herbs and spices. Herbs and... That's the main support for the ceiling, Quiggle. That's right, sir. Without it, the school will fall down. <laughs> Be masterful, Dr. Zargul. Try grabbing it from behind, sir. Mine is empty, sir. It's all right, Dr. Zargul. I'll rescue him. <laughs> You're all dusty, poor little fellow. Let me kiss it better. Don't you dare. I was talking to the Zamster, Dr. Zargul. Evacuate the building, Quiggles, into the spaceship. You've got some masonry on your hat, Dr. Zargul. Well, that's a weight off my mind. The classroom's in ruins. Hooray! Quiggles. I asked you to do one simple little task, and you demolished one of the finest and oldest buildings on the planet. Oh, a gadget here, a widget there, Dr. Zargul. They'll have it up again in no time. 
Why isn't the spaceship taking off, sir? Me keys. I can't find them, Gav. They were here this morning. Mind you, so is me throttle. Haven't you got a spare set? No, Gav. It's the cutback, see? One set per spaceship only. Well, keys don't just get swallowed up. They must be somewhere. He's driving me nuts with that noise. Matron, get rid of Creedle's hiccups. Try scaring him. How, Dr. Zargo? Use your imagination. Show him your passport photo. Oh, hey! It's no good. They're not here. We'll have to abandon the mission. The school governors will want to know why. Then we'll have oh. the inspectors in. We'll lose all funding for school trips. I'll be fired and Head will probably take over all lessons. Oh. No! I'm leaving school, not the Head. Me not coming to school anymore. Do something, Rebel. I can start a spaceship without any keys, sir. Oh, you can, can you? Who taught you that trick? Somebody who spent his life behind bars, no doubt. Yes, sir. What? <laughs> oh, well, I suppose you'd better come up to the front. <laughs> a boogle, a boogle, a boogle. You, you scared me then, mate, John. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one. Ah, <laughs> oh, well done, Creedle. Well done, Matron, for carrying Creedle's hiccups. Thank you, Dr. Zargle. It was nothing. <laughs> Continuing our lesson, it's important that you're able to recognize Earth thingamies for what they are. As it can be very difficult to judge the function of certain gadgets merely by their appearance. Oh, a flipping fracas. Get in there. Go on. This thing is never going to pass its inspection, Gov. It's just about at it, I reckon. I was hoping the school's annual meteors and music evening would raise sufficient funds for a new ship. Unfortunately, the meteor decided to migrate elsewhere. And as for the music, oh dear, the memory still brings tears to my eyes. I was in very good voice that night, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> An Earth thingy is a tool specially designed to make the job more difficult. More easy, sir. Yeah. I'll be the judge of that, people. A sloshing machine is a metal box full of boiling water and speckled dust. They're impossible to house train. The sloshing machine is designed to shrink clothing and to colour white things pink. Shut up, Quiggle. A hammer is a stick with a painful bit on the end. The earthlings use it to flatten their tentacles. Matron, would you silence that Quiggle? A drill is a tool designed to make a tiny hole as noisily as possible. Drills can only be used on Sundays when neighbours are having an extended rest. Some of these thingamies have whirling prongs. It's the quickest way to mix cow juice, fat and egg mangle over all the surfaces. What are you doing, Matron? I'm trying to cure Quiggle's hiccups, Dr. Zargle. It would be much easier if he just blew into a bag, Matron. A bag, Dr. Zargle? Are you sure? Just do it, please. I meant a paper bag. We're trying to cure Quiggle, not kill him. Goodness knows what toxic fumes are in your handbag, Matron. Sue her. I'll give you the number. You be quiet. We'll be landing on planet Earth shortly. We might be landing, but we won't be taking off again afterwards. We megawise snapped, we wagger crump curgled, and we throttles throttled. Unless you can get those keys back, we are done for. What? You mean we won't be able to return from planet Earth? I know where they are, sir. Oh, well, why the blindering scrundles didn't you tell me earlier, Quiggle? You wouldn't have been able to reach them, sir. Why not? Where are they? Inside Famished, sir. He swallowed them. <coughs> what? Is this true, Quiggle? 
Matron, hold him down. The rest of you, disguises on. <laughs> Get these keys back, Dr. Zargle. They'll have to come out one way or the other, Matron. Go again. One, two, three, shake! <laughs> that sounded promising. I'm afraid that was me, Dr. Zargle. Oh, please. Dr. Zargle? I thought you said we were going to sneak into this abandoned holiday dwelling under the cover of darkness. We were, but we fell behind schedule, thanks to Quigo. Why we bothered to resuscitate him, I don't know. We still haven't got the spaceship keys. We'll just have to let nature take its course, Dr. Zargle. Quigles, it is vitally important that we find an Earth gadget with which to start the spaceship. And while you're at it, you'd better gather anything there is which might prolong the life of our aging craft. What happens if we can't start the spaceship up again, sir? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We are doomed, aren't we, sir? On that note of optimism, follow me. I found a way in, sir. My psychiatrist said to put all thoughts of aliens out of my head. Figments of your imagination, Nigel, he said. Have a holiday in the country. Aliens, indeed. <laughs> Thank goodness all that nonsense is behind me. Nigel, relax, man. There are no such things as aliens. I was just beginning to enjoy this trip. Run! Quick! Quick! Oh, come on, oh, you two! Come on! Quick! Grab the keys, monitor. Oh, that was very close, Matron. Too close. Yes, but at least we got the spaceship keys back. Oh, try and relax, Dr. Zargo. Relax? Ha! Would you like to swap seats? There's a lovely breeze where I'm sitting. A lovely breeze? Spaceships don't have lovely breezes. They're completely sealed. Tip-between <laughs> piggerills. Matron, do something. I asked you to bring back tools to fix the spaceship, not to send it down the nearest black hole! Oh, oh, oh. Quick, quick. 